know, have you got a pair of favourite jeans? You've loved them, you've worn them, and then suddenly this has happened to them. And it's pretty impossible to wear them. Okay, if they've gone at the knee, but not there. Well, here's one way that you can repair them so that you can carry on wearing them. In order to repair these, if you've got a piece of jean material, an old pair of jeans that have had it, or you might have taken the bottom off a pair of jeans because they were too long, get your material. Now you'll see here, this has got the lycra in it. Can you see the stretch there? All right, so that needs to go across the jean so that it's stretching. And then as you move, it will still give for you. So there's your piece, your square, your patch. It may fray. Don't fold it over and hem it because you're going to have too much bulk. My advice is, if you think it's going to fray, to zigzag it all the way round. That is zigzagged ready. Try and get the thread to be as near to the colour as your jeans as you can. And then the square, when you patch it in, won't show too much through on the right side. So when you've edged your material, you can, if you want to, just sew it on to the outside. And then you just top stitch it around. But then, of course, you're going to have a patch on the outside. So that's the easiest, simplest way. Or... We can sew it on the inside. So this is top stitch now on here. You can do it by hand if you want to. This is going down this edge first so it was in line with the seam so I could keep the elasticity running throughout and then I knew that that would be able to stretch and pull. So when you turn it around the other way that is how it looks this side and then you've got your movement there, your give. Alright so that is how it looks on the other side. Now you can leave them like that, job done, they're decent, you're not showing anything off you shouldn't be showing. Or if you want to take it one step further, get your thread, make sure it's the same colour as much as you can. You've now got the material underneath as something to catch on to. And what you're doing is you are weaving, it's a bit of darning, and just kind of weaving in and out. But don't pull it too tight if you do do this. You're just, just trying to put it together so you don't put it too tight otherwise you're going to end up with it bunching there is no need to do this but you can just take it that a little bit further if you want to because now you've got material underneath as a base and that way on you haven't got it flapping around like this right so I've chosen to do it this way because I think it looks better on the outside you haven't got a patch and there they are all finished. I have actually caught that up there. If you do catch it, then don't pull it too tight so you don't get a lot of puckering and it doesn't get a bulk of material. Other than that, there you are. There's your jeans all patched. You can wear them again now. So I hope that video has been of some use to you. Thank you very much for all our videos. Derriton33.